Okay, so as you can see in this video, let me just enlarge this. So moving on. In the last video, we spoke about length and area on the concept of staying in the units of unit analysis. Or well, you can say that dimension analysis is it's the same thing, honestly. So now we're going to talk about volume and mass. And again, we're going to focus on this more in terms of problem solving um, um, perspective, I would say, where we we go by each concept based on problems. And this is this this will basically help you solidify your concept already. So let's move on. We did this. We talked about this. Okay, area. Oh, and actually, we did this. I right, saw so volume. We have a rectangular box is six inches wide, seven inches long, and five inches deep. Calculate the volume in liters. Okay, let's let's see the main things here. The box is six inches wide, right here. Seven inches long, and five inches deep calculate the area in liters. Now before you go to the next slide and see the hint, try to think about what steps to do. What do you need to, what are the main things that you need to know? Is there a formula that you need to, to, to use for this that you should already know? These are the questions you should be asking yourself. So let's take a look at the hint. So there are some things that you ought to know. Let me just. One is that one one a liter is a thousand cubic centimeters. That's what CC stands for, cubic centimeters. One inch is two point fifty four centimeters. One cubic centimeters is one cubic centimeter as well. They're the same thing. Thing honestly, it's just that going from this to that is. Easier shown this way as CC. So volume equals length times width times height. Again, this is something that we should already know. And that's what we're going to use to solve this problem. So take time out to write this down. Now, before you go to the next slide and see my solution, please pause the video and attempt to solve this. Again, let's look at the question again. You have a box that is six, six inches wide, seven inches long, and five inches deep. What is the volume in liters? So here, now you probably solved it a different way, but my attempt is this. First, I found the volume in inches first. I just multiplied all three things, and I got 210 inches, cubic inches. This inch times inch times inch is cubic inches. Now, the question wants the volume in liters. So, I basically took my answer in cubic inches, converted inches to centimeter. Again, one inch is an exact measurement of, of 2.54 centimeters. All I did was cube them, so the cube can cross out with this cube. Now I am left with cubic centimeter. If you cube the units, you must also cube the number, by the way. Don't forget to cube the number. That's what the, out, the outside three here is supposed to be for both. But if you don't know that, I'm, I'm using a pen to show you. Then, you're going to go from cubic centimeters, just to have it in cc, is the same thing. Again. Now we have cc. Now, to go from cc to liters, it is given to us that one liters is a thousand cubic centimeter. This cancels out. And now we can use our calculator. In, inside your calculator, what you're going to do is you're going to multiply 210, multiply it by 2.54 cubed to the third power. Don't forget that. You're going to cube this. Then you're going to take the answer that you got from doing that, you're going to divide it by a thousand. I'm skipping all of this because they just one, 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 one. That's why. 
you're going to divide it by a thousand then you get your answer in liters and that's what it wants next problem mass now let's take a look at this problem mass is also another type of um, dimension analysis problem that students usually get confused with so let's read the problem in a chemistry lab experiment you weight you weight sulfur dioxide three successive sides well that doesn't make sense it's supposed to say at three uh, uh, consecutive times where you have 8.15 grams as, as your first measurement 8.12 as your second measurement and 8.20 as your third measurement. The question is find the average mass in milligrams. So obviously to find the average mass you have to add it and, and divide by three. So again to find the average let's see what the hint says. The hint says well one thing you should know if you do not know this probably would be given to you during an exam, but it's good to know that one gram equals a thousand milligram, and that average mass means the mass of the first one plus the second one plus the third one, and then you divide it by three, and that's the average mass. So let's see how I did it. So average mass is the first mass. Let's go back. So we have the first mass, 8.15, plus the second one, 8.12, plus the third one, 8.20, divided by 3, you have the mass in grams. But they want the answer in milligrams. So the, the goal is to convert your answer to milligrams using this fact over here. So again, once you have your answer, all you have to simply do is multiply by 1,000 because 1 gram equals a thousand milligram again I love to set it up like this so that this can cancel out and you, all you're left with is is, is is the unit in mg and you have 8160 milligram as your final answer so again we have basically spoken talked about let's go back we have basically spoken about length area in the first video in this video I went over two um, a question based on each each topic volume and mass. In the third and final in the third and final video on this unit, we'll talk about density and temperature. Thank you.